how big a hole it rips in the old pocketbook. When you get right down to brass tacks, you gotta admit everybody's interested in how much a thing's gonna cost. Sure they are. And nobody knows it any better than you, Smitty. But everybody has their angle. Now take me, for example. I could never sell them on saving money. Ice is my story. Ice is what they want, the way I figure. Yes, sir, it's ice. They're all breaking their necks to find out how much ice the thing will make. That's when I show them how we leave competition melting in the sink. Well, hmm. that's when you sell them. Yowza. That's when they scratch their John Henry on the good old dotted line. How does that angle strike you, Heine? Well, of course, I ain't no streamlined model like the rest of you dudes, but... But you got curves of your own, ain't you, you old bird dog? <laughs> <laughs> well, I wasn't born in a barn, if that's what you mean. <laughs> that's telling them. What is your angle, Heine? Well, I've always figured that the big idea in self to set up what they call a point of contact. For instance, when I get into a prospect's house, I look around the room, pick out something that I think means a lot to her. Picture, vase, needlework, you know. Start talking about it. That puts us on a friendly basis. And you get into the kitchen just like that. <laughs> <laughs> sure you do. I get them to have confidence in me, to like me. And once we get on a friendly basis, they're ready to believe my story. That's my angle, Jonesy. And it's a wonderful lead up to my best selling argument, dependability. Listen, I sell them on Frigidaire's place in the industry, the engineering that's behind the product. And I prove dependability with a meter miser. The simplest mechanism ever built. Only three moving parts. The fewer, the better. Of course, you know, Mrs. Brown, when the parts are not there, they can't give you any trouble. Then I wind up on the five-year protection plan. Tell them how General Motors stands back of it, and all that. That's how I get them, Jonesy. Darn good stuff, Harney, but it won't work on everybody. Of course it won't. There's always a certain amount of them who say they'll let you know later. Everybody has them. That's right. You can't expect to make a hit every time you come to bat. Well, maybe not. No, maybe about it. My ice story would sell Frigidaire to a wooden Indian, but... Well, the law of averages... How do you tackle them on ice ability, Jim? Well, you know me, brother. I'm high pressure. Why beat around the bush? When I got into this business, I asked myself, what does a woman want in a refrigerator? Ice, I says. She wants ice. Otherwise, why did she have the Iceman all those years? <laughs> so when I get a prospect in the sales room, I sell him right off. First thing, on Frigidaire's ability to give him ice and plenty of it. I tell him how Frigidaire is the last word in complete ice service. I prove to him how fast it freezes. Show him there's plenty of room to store it afterwards. But mister, when I pull up on that instant cube release and show him that the days of cube struggle are over, <laughs> It's in the bag. Well, I got a pet list of features all my own. The ones they're really interested in. I show them that wider, roomier cabinet. Tell them about cold control. You don't want to be a dish juggler, do you? I ask them. Then I take out my pad and pencil and talk meter miser. That gets them. Now, you take Mr. What's-His-Name, who was in here this morning. Well, I don't know. That's a lot of money. I can get a better price on that big six polar. Well, perhaps you can. But let me show you. So I sailed right in and showed them the comparative cost in black and white. That stopped them. There were the facts right down in front of them. When I got through comparing operating costs, let me tell you he thought he was buying enough electricity with that polar to heat a six-room house. Did he uh, sign the order? Well, uh, not yet, but... Well, he's going to let me know, though. <laughs> yeah, a lot of them get away like that. Well, good night. The guy don't live who can crack them all. As Jim says... It's the law of averages. Why, even Lou Gehrig can't bat a thousand. Yeah, but Lou Gehrig ain't a frigid air salesman. You know, I used to sell them just like you do, Smitty. I had my own pet list of features. The ones I was hot on are the ones I thought appealed most to the customer. And I used to sell them to beat the devil. I used to mix them up. A little of this and a little of that. But my hot angle, the service I figured they were all yelling for was convenience. And boy, what a demonstration I gave them. This year, I started off selling them our adjustable interior. I sold them the portable utility shelf. 
I demonstrated how we provided for big dishes, little dishes, round dishes, tall bottles, flat packages, canned goods, or whatever they might want to keep in it. And when they came in all hopped up about that rack on the door, I proved that our portable utility shelf was even more convenient. And it wasn't exposed to the hot kitchen every time the door was open either. Say, I sold them, but not enough of them. Some of the prospects I thought I'd sold were slipping away from me. A lot of prospects wanted something else, something I hadn't even mentioned. So I got right down to fundamentals and asked myself, just like you did, Raleigh, what does a woman want in a refrigerator? And the answer I got was refrigeration. A woman wants to keep her food cold. She wants a refrigerator that has the ability to protect her food. Well, mister, I went after that protectability line hot and heavy. Well, I remember one time... They claim they have no moving parts, no noise, nothing to get out of order, and no servicemen. I pretty nearly bought one. But I thought I'd just have a look at Frigidaire. <laughs> well, Mrs. Barton, I appreciate how those features would impress you. I felt very much as you do until I investigated their claims more thoroughly. No noise, no moving parts, no service. Certainly sounds good if it's true. But by the way, may I ask what kind of refrigeration you have now, Mrs. Barton? Oh, we just have an ice box. Oh, an ice box. And uh, does the ice box ever make any noise? Why, no, of course not. It doesn't have any moving parts either, does it? And of course you never have a repairman out to fix it. Why, no, but... Uh... Well, then why are you giving up the ice box, Mrs. Barton? No noise, no moving parts, no service? Well, it just doesn't keep our food right. Of course it doesn't. And that's what you really want in a refrigerator, food protection. Say, that's a honey. I'm going to use that one myself. Then why are you giving up your icebox, Mrs. Barton? <laughs> <laughs> Not a chance in the world of getting out of that one. Yeah, well, that's just where you're wrong. I didn't sell Mrs. Barton a frigid air. She was just another one of those I'll-let-you-know buyers. She bought an entirely different refrigerator. They sold her on dependability, and I hadn't even mentioned it. Sure, I'd sold her on food protection, all right, but that wasn't enough. I ran aground on a lot of Mrs. Barton's before I caught on. But I finally found out that no one service which Frigidaire has to offer will sell all the people all the time. So I gave up my own pet list of features and started selling all the services. I sold dependability to this one, saveability to that one, or ice ability, protectability, storage ability, whatever the prospect seemed most interested in. How did you find out what they were interested in? Why, that was simple. At the earliest opportunity in the sale, I asked for the order right off. Bang. And what did they do? Throw their arms around you? Not much. Generally, they said no. Then I asked them why. Their answer told me. Well, I'm not going to buy a Frigidaire because, well, I like the Hooses machine better. Mr. Wetzel, just why do you like the Hooses machine better than Frigidaire? Well, we use a lot of ice. Want to get it in a hurry. A salesman from the Hooses machine was in to see me. His machine sure does freeze the ice fast. That was the way I found out. Now I know what he wants. He's interested in fast freezing ability. All right. I give him both barrels on it. Mr. Wetzel, fast freezing is certainly an important function in any refrigerator, and I'd like to prove it to you. All right. Go ahead. So I gave him the thermogauge proof of Frigidaire's freezing ability. I proved it beyond a shadow of a doubt. But did he reach over and grab the order book out of my hand? He did not. He started hemming and hawing over some other point. Well, that may be true enough, what you say, but I don't know. A person wants other things in a refrigerator. That's very true. What else do you have in mind? Oh, I don't know. I... You see, Mr. Wetzel, frigid air not only gives you fast freezing, but lots of ice and a place to store it after you've got it. It's a complete ice service. More than that, frigid air gives you food protection, saves you money, and supplies the right kind of storage space. You want those things in a refrigerator you buy, don't you? Why, yes, sure I do. I want all of them. That's when I really got the idea. That was it. The five basic services with the features grouped under each. I'd heard that angle before. That's what they were driving at at the convention. I'd simply been passing it up. But when that prospect said all of them, it was like hitting me between the eyes with a ball bat. I figured I could sell a prospect on whatever feature he brought up. And all of a sudden, I found out that to make a sale, I had to sell him on things he might want and didn't even know about. Otherwise, he was meat for some competitive salesman. Frigid Air provides the five basic services more completely than any other refrigerator and has more features to back them up. That was the strategy. I hadn't got it, that's all. 
Why, George, I didn't either until just now. Say, that's great stuff. But listen, do you always use the whole story every time? I gotta. Old man Wetzel proved that to me. And let me tell you, when I got to thinking about it, I can remember a lot of see you later customers that went out of here to buy a service I'd fail to explain. So now I don't just sell them on one service at the expense of the others. I don't just sell them on dependability and leave them wide open on protectability, iceability, storageability, and saveability. I sell them all, one at a time. And I sell them in terms of what they mean to the buyer. Yeah, but how do you cover all the individual features? Just recite them off, one, two, three, 46, 47, 48? No, of course not. I don't always cover all the features, there ain't time. But I do cover all the five basic services. For instance, the food safety indicator, safety zone temperatures, the cold control and so forth. They're not just individual features, but a part of the basic service of greater protectability. I hit every one of them as far as I can. And when I'm through, the prospect is sold on Frigidaire's greater protectability. You wrap up in one package all the features that have anything to do with greater protectability. Then you do the same thing with the next basic service. That's right. Now we're getting someplace. Then I go ahead and use gem stuff. The new instantaneous cube release, automatic tray release, faster freezing, the ice storage tray, and the rest of them. Wrap them all up under greater ice ability. Well, I'll be doggone. You really got something there. You're telling me. <laughs> then I take up storage ability, sell sliding shelves, cold storage compartment, the hydrator, and that new nine-way adjustable interior. The prospect hears the features, yes, but sees them in terms of Frigidaire's greater storage ability. The same thing goes for greater saveability. Your story, Smitty. I shoot the works on meter miser and every Frigidaire economy feature and bang. The fourth basic service is in the bag. And for greater dependability, you sell a my story. Long life, quality, the five-year protection plan, a general motor. That's right, and let me tell you, it works. You take the prospect along step by step, and when you're through, he can't have a single doubt but what Frigidaire's the buy. Sounds all right to me, but what about some of these competitive gadgets that don't fit under the basic services? There is no such thing. Oh, yes, there is, and how about the foot pedal? Uh, this strategy takes care of all of them, which gives you two ways of handling the cold storage tray. That's fine, Mr. Jones, but I really like that foot pedal. Seems to me that's a wonderful convenience. It is a convenience, Mrs. Green, but let's see what it means. You, of course, like the foot pedal because it makes it possible for you to open the door of your refrigerator when your hands are both full of dishes. Isn't that right? Yes, of course that's it. Well, Mrs. Green, let me show you how Frigidaire meets that situation. When you come to the Frigidaire with both hands full of food, you merely touch the latch like this and the door swings open. Isn't that simple? However, your interest in the latch, Mrs. Green, leads me to believe you are primarily interested in the storage ability which your refrigerator provides. After all, opening the door is a means of getting at the storage facilities which it offers. So now, with both hands still full of dishes, your chief interest is to find a convenient place to put them. That's the reason we give you the nine-way adjustable interior, the sliding shelves, and the utility basket. I give her the works on Frigidaire's greater storage ability. And by the time I get through, that one foot pedal feature is buried under an avalanche of really important things that spell greater storage ability. No other refrigerator on the market offers the complete storage service offered by the new Frigidaire. Yes, I really like this adjustable interior. However, in addition to storage ability, Mrs. Green, there are certain other services I'm sure you will want in the refrigerator you buy. For example, I'm sure you want safe food protection. Now, let me show you. And then I take up protectability and follow through on saveability, iceability, dependability. I point out the features which make each one of them a real basic service. It's a bulletproof story. No matter how strong any one feature may be, it gains a lot of weight when it becomes a part of one of the basic services. And when we combine all five services and back them up with proof, we've got a sales story that nobody can touch. I tell you, you just can't beat it. I'll say you can't. And I always thought strategy was a thing that won battles. It is. The battle of services versus gadgets. <laughs> <laughs>